everyone, Braden here again. I'm going to be tying a simple albacore fly, false albacore fly. I throw it for false albacore, Spanish mackerel, bonito right now that are on the North Carolina coast. It's also really good for smaller mahi like peanut mahi when they're all schooled up. But, um, yep, let's go ahead and get into tying it. So, this is a size 6. Kona big game hunter hook. I'm just using some pink thread 140 denier. Just because if if my thread bleeds through at any point, I want this pink kind of like body to show through or organ gills kind of looking thing. The reason why my fly just a second ago looked kind of trashed up and dirty as uh i was that's the, one of the flies i used last season fishing for false albacore so it's been chewed up a little bit but i mean even a hook of this size i haven't had any issues with for the false albacore just because it's a short stout hook kind of almost like an egg hook but it's been great so what I just tied in there, I doubled it over my thread, tied it in off the hook bend, just above the hook point right there. That is Hairline's Ripple Ice Hair, um, the mother of pearl color. That's just as like a little kind of base to build upon. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go on the belly. This is Senyo's Laser Dub the white color so you actually don't need a lot in this fly take about half of that out so this material right here this is a uh, Senyo's laser dub also from hairline the white color um, just gonna kind of rip and place this back in my hand this is just aligning the fibers making sure you're getting as long as fibers as you can out of this clump. So placing that directly over the hook, 360 degrees around it, one loose wrap, and then pull tight just so you can trap all of those fibers. Come through with a comb or a pick. and pick it all out rearwards and then I'm just going to tie like a little bullet directly over top of it step in front of it Same thing, same material, same uh, preparation process, just taking a clump, ripping it, stacking it right on top of each other to uh, align the fibers. But as you can see, you're kind of taming the fibers and getting more and more length with them. Every stack and it makes the tying process a whole lot easier and you get a lot more use out of your material. So, going to pluck some long fibers out of it. Place it directly over top of the hook shank, 360 degrees around it again. About at the midpoint this time. Loose wrap over top of it. Pull down tight. Two or three more tight wraps over top. Clean out my comb, comb it all out now. And just jump in front of it right there. Alright, so now again I'm just going to take some 
white senior laser dub. This time we're not going to be going around 360 degrees, but just on the belly. This fly is going to imitate a anchovy, a small anchovy, um, silver side, any small bait fish that uh, the fall style will core king in on. I've tied this fly straight white, olive over white, um, blue over white, hot pink, pink over white, chartreuse, chartreuse over white. I mean, the list goes on. You can tie it whatever. But, um, my go-to is either all white or olive over white. So, what I've done there, I've stacked and placed it, the dubbing over top of each other. Now I'm placing it on the belly, working it around the hook bend. So I placed the dubbing 50 degrees going towards the hook eye and 50 degrees going back towards the hook bend um, right behind the hook eye here doing a few tight wraps flipping over my hook cleaning that up and then olive senyo's laser dub I found doing it at like the very end really makes it so only the back is olive instead of like a 50-50 or more than half the fly because the olive or the darker color tends to overtake the uh, lighter color. So plucking out the super long fibers. just like our last stack. And brushing it out. So, fold over your top stack right there. Two wraps. Your bottom stack. And uh, as I'm doing this, I'm kind of like folding it around the hook shank right there. Kind of split that 50-50 around the hook shank. Alright. Whip finish or however you'd like to tie off. Now, we're going to take our small eyes. I'm not sure exactly what size these are. But all I know is we got them from Amazon. This is Loctite Super Glue. The reason why I don't care what that uh, head looks like after we're done tying the material is because we're about to cover it up. So. Really, really small drops. Okay, so this is Solarez Thin, thin viscosity UV resin. Put it in between the eyes there, around the eyes. Not really doing a super thick coating. In the bottom slot there, around the eyes over here. And then, use my Norvice to make sure everything is even. If you spend it at the same speed for a little while, it's, it'll all smoothen out. 
It won't have lumps or anything else in there. Care it with my UV light. Pull it up out of the jaws a little bit, come in again, pick it all out one last time. And then one thing I'd like to do, this is Solarize Flex, just to make sure your fly isn't going to foul around your hook, your hook bend while you're fishing, because fishing for Abacore or Bonito, um, it's very quick and fast paced and a lot of times it involves a good amount of wind but making these quick casts and when you only get a short amount of time to make that shot at those fish you want to make sure your fly isn't messed up and you want to make sure it looks good for those fish because they have a really really good eyesight they'll pick it out from all the other anchovies or silver sides in that group but it doesn't really affect the fishing action or swimming action of the fly because I mean you're stripping it so fast it already isn't really swimming it's just really pulling through the water so that's a quick and simple little anchovy uh, or silver side imitation for false albacore or Bonito or any other species that really is your targeting on a small bait fish. Alright, so here's a, another look over the fly before we end it. Um, like you can see there, that pink thread at the end almost looks like uh, gills, and then uh, the uh, little strands of thread there can also also look like gills. I, I, I'm not going to trim that out, I'm going to leave it. Just add some little to the fly, some to help catch the fish's attention, make it look more natural in the water. But, um, yep. Thanks everybody for watching. Braden Miller, Norvice Ambassador. I tied a simple anchovy pattern. Hope y'all liked it. I had fun tying it for y'all. And, uh, I'll do something similar to it for kind of the same theme for my next fly. See y'all later.